Our power, however, is not in our personality, it is not in our ego minds. Of course, those have their own power, but that is a very limited power. Our true power comes from our higher self, and when we open up and anchor our higher self within our body's energetic chakra structure. And by doing that, we're reaccessing our true self, the self that we forgot about as we began to identify with the ego that we cultivated since childhood. So that personal power, that point of essence of our higher self, that is the power that I think needs to be cultivated above any other. So if you're feeling powerful because you have power over others, that's simply the ego. If, you're, if somebody's feeling powerful because other people think they're special and they say, yes, I'm so special, that's your ego. And the ego does that, just recognize that that's not the true you, that's your ego mind and just tell it to sit quietly in the corner so that you can interact with reality from that space of personal power. Okay, we're going to take a short two-minute break so that for the next 40 minutes or so after we come back from break, we're going to do a meditative process for self-clearing. It's going to be very deep, very involved. You're going to want to be able to be undisturbed for 40 minutes. I think it will take a little less than 40 minutes, but just plan ahead. Be able to close your eyes and breathe deeply. Make sure that you don't have any tight-fitting pants so that you can fill your lungs fully. So we will cut out for just a quick two-minute break so that everybody can go and relieve themselves, get a sip of water, and we'll come back and we'll start peeling those layers away together. Hello again, everyone. We're back together going to start peeling our layers of limiting energy. So get comfortable, close your eyes, start breathing deeply, fill your stomach with air as you breathe in, slowly fill it up, let your chest expand at the end of your breath filling the last of your lungs and then exhale slowly and completely and just focus on your breath for three or four deep slow breaths And now, imagine just above your head a large ball of light. This represents your higher self. Ask your higher self to come down into your crown and your pineal gland and fill your head with light.
Now see that light moving down into your throat and now into your heart, illuminating you from within. And as this occurs, that ball of light expands to encompass your whole body, moving down into your solar plexus, down, down into your root, filling your body and every cell within it with vibrant, radiant light. Breathe it in. Let that energy fill you. This is where your higher self is supposed to be anchored in your body. So breathe it in and let that energy expand outwards. Filling your body, filling your entire sphere of consciousness with the divine light of your higher self. Just breathe it in and feel it. Now, tune in to the galaxy. The galaxy of the Milky Way that we are in has a consciousness. Just like planet Earth has her consciousness, the galaxy has its consciousness. I call it the galaxy being. You can call it whatever you like. Galactic consciousness, galactic mind, whatever. Now feel that consciousness all around you and become aware of the core of the galaxy, the galactic sun, the galactic core teeming with life, light, love, infinite information, infinite wisdom and knowledge. Now imagine a beam of light as wide as your body coming straight down into your head from the center of the galaxy. See it flow down through your body, through your chakras, down through your root and into the core of Mother Earth. You are now officially a galactic human bridging the consciousness, the galactic core with the consciousness of Mother Earth. And from her plasma core of energy, she sends a beam of energy back up through your body, up out the top of your head, showering around you in a beautiful array of Now, ask the galaxy for the cosmic flush and see a beam of light come from the left side and go through the, out the right side of your body and another beam comes from the right and goes to the left. So you're now standing in a giant energetic plus sign. And now a new beam comes from the upper left, diagonally down through your body, out the bottom right. Corresponding beam comes from the bottom right, up and out the upper left side of your body. Another new beam comes from the upper right, through your body, 
out to the bottom left. And yet another beam from the bottom left up to the upper right. Now you have eight beams of energy moving through your body in every direction. Now feel that energy coursing through every meridian, every nerve, every cell, every neuron in your brain, every single facet and aspect of your physical, energetic, and light bodies. This is the cosmic flush. It is infinite energy. It is always present. You only have to remember that it's there. Breathe it in. Let it flow through your body. Feel it washing away all heaviness, all tightness within your body. And now ask your higher self to do an energy refund where any harmful, unloving thoughts that have been projected into your sphere of consciousness from any person or organization, physical or non-physical, ask your higher self to send that energy back to the higher self of the sender. We ask our higher self to send back all unloving, harmful projections to the higher self of the sender. It does not matter who it is, it does not matter if you know the person or not. In fact, if you find yourself thinking about somebody that you're pretty sure is sending you harmful, unloving energy, let them go, forgive them, and ask your higher self to handle this transaction, this energy refund. Because that energy belongs to them, not to you. Now ask your higher self to bring back all of your own harmful, unloving projections, all of your judgments, your criticisms of others back to you. More specifically, ask your higher self to bring them back. Because you don't want all of that negative energy smacking you in the face right off the bat. So instead, your higher self will take that energy back. And then you can process that together when the time is right. Just breathe it in, feel that space that's now created around you. Feel the frantic energy of society, of the world, melting away from your sphere of energy. Feel your own sphere of energy expanding in this space, expanding in this freedom. And now, simply breathe deep and be mindful of your ego. If your ego is having thoughts about the projections that other people have put on you, if your ego is trying to judge them for doing that, what we want to do is simply minimize that ego. 
We ask it to sit in the bottom left corner.